What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Final Boss Garage. Today we are working on the 2015 Silverado. Uh, I think the last video I posted on it was stereos or speakers um, uh, or the starter. Uh, during that starter video, I broke the clip to the starter where it comes in from the signal. Uh, so today's video is going to be all about how to fix that. If you're a dumbass like me and you break the clip that goes to your starter, you want to order GM Genuine Part AC Delco or GM number 19300471. Now I called the dealer, informed them that I had broke the clip and they wanted like $1,000 for a whole new engine harness. They didn't want to send, sell me a pigtail. So I found this on Amazon. Uh, it's actually for a different vehicle. Um, I think it was a Buick or something. Um, but anyways, you get the entire pigtail. So you get the harness, you get the red safety clip. This little piece right here is what I broke off so it doesn't stay on the starter. Uh, so as a temporary bypass, I super glued mine onto the starter. Um, but today we are gonna do it properly and replace the clip. The tools you're gonna need today is a crimping tool and a wire stripper. This is very straightforward. It's only one wire. Uh, so there's no getting this wrong. Going to take a wire stripper, strip this end. We're going to use this butt connector. And we're just going to crimp it down, put some grease in there, heat it up, shrink it, and that's it. So we are under the truck right now. Um, here is the clip. As you can see, I broke off the push tab inside this portion right here that would hold it to the starter. Um, so as a result of this, every time I would drive the car, it would just vibrate off and I'd have to come back under here and push it back on. So we are going to put an end to that. Um, we are gonna cut this connection off right here and then we're gonna strip the wire back a little bit and we are gonna crimp on the connection extra support on the wires just to keep them safe from heat and stuff. Um, I do have extra uh, wire loom um, protective plastic shielding. So I just cut off a section that matches the length of the harness. I'm gonna go ahead and tape it to this end. Um, and then after we seal it and crimp it, I'll tape it on this. And that'll just protect it from, you know, I don't think it's anywhere close to the manifolds or exhaust, but just in case um, it's best to keep the wire safe from heat or contaminants so i've taken my crimp connection i put some grease inside of it uh, and then my wire is stripped and i'm just going to push this onto there sorry that might be a little blurry i'm just going to push it onto the wire um don't worry about the grease getting on the wires um it's perfectly fine um yes grease is not conductive it doesn't increase your electrical uh current flow um, but it's also not an insulator, so it's not going to slow it down either. Uh, the purpose of the grease is just to stop moisture and dirt and everything from getting into um, the connection and causing corrosion. Uh, I've got my wire on there. Um, I've crimped it on both ends. Um, I really recommend the crimping tool instead of just the uh, part that's on the wire stripper because you can get way more force with the crimpers and you get that really tough connection. You shouldn't be able to pull it apart at all. Um, and then I've got my grease in there as well. Last step is just to add some heat to it and shrink the tubes. Uh, this really should be done with a heat gun, but falling on, on a budget. So just, just light amount of heat is all it takes for these. And it shrinks right up. The grease is gonna s slow it down a little bit. You see it pushing the grease out as it shrinks. That's okay. So be careful not to burn your wire. All right, and that's shrinking up quite nice. 
And now I'm gonna put on my heat sleeve and tape it up. All right, it finally clipped in. It was kind of a pain in the butt to clip it in. Um, I had to push really hard. I ended up um, unbolting the starter just to make sure that I had the clip right. And once that was unbolted, I was like, screw it. I ran out of AutoZone and warrantied it out just to, might as well, I already had it out. But uh, got the new clip in, it's in. Didn't break it this time. Um, like I said, the wire's a little longer um, than it used to be, so I just zip tied it to the training line right here. Um, but it's nice and sturdy. It's not gonna flap around on the freeway or anything. Um, it's got more th than enough like distance from like uh, the catalytic converter or, or anything. So um, yeah, that was it. Um, not a hard process at all, minus me running to AutoZone real quick. Um, I think I might've spent 15 or 20 minutes doing this whole thing. All right, moment of truth, ignore the mess. Open then close driver window. Oh, because I disconnected the battery. All right, as you guys can see, uh, no issues. Um, so yeah, if you break the clip, uh, really not a big deal. Um, I got that part for, I think less than $20 on Amazon. Um, not hard to change at all, real basic tools. Um, yeah, sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. I really just haven't been doing much, but um, that's been kind of a pain in my butt lately, the starter. So figured I'd get that taken care of. Um, yeah, you guys have any questions, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.